everyone, it's Tracy again coming to you today showing you some hand exercises for stroke rehabilitation. Well, stroke exercises for hand rehabilitation. I had my stroke January 25th of 2019, so four months ago. So I am still working on getting full recovery in my digits, which are the fingers, wrist, forearm, shoulders, arm, the whole movement, and getting it back to normal, that whole nine. So, but today we're just going to show you some basic hand exercises to get the fingers back moving, get the wrist moving, things like that. I like to, when I'm doing the exercises, I use my greater side, which I call one side good and the other side great. The good side was the affected side. The other side that was not affected is the great side. So I like to use that to kind of allow my brain to recognize, hey, what I'm doing over here on the great side, I want to do over here on the good side. So I'm watching it and sending those signals to my brain to say, hey, guess what? This good side could do the same thing also. So I would say I'm not discouraged at all the fact that it doesn't move as fluently as the great side, but guess what? When I came out of the stroke, it wasn't pretty much moving at all. I didn't, I couldn't straighten my fingers out. So do not get discouraged because you may go from here to eventually one at a time to here to here to here. So this is great. So wherever you are right now, do not get discouraged because what this great side is doing, we can have this good side doing sooner or later. It's repetition. Do not give up. It's, you got to put the time into it. So if you're not going to a therapist, if you are going to a therapist, you still, when you get home, do things on your own to keep yourself advanced. So with myself, I like to start with warming up the wrist. We're going to go with the flexion and extension here. And again, repetition is key. So my 20, not going to bore you all with going through 20 of every exercise, but that's what your goal is on the 20. I'm going to show you another easy way to really start filling it. We're going to go on the side of the table here. Keeping my forearm in contact with the table. We're going to bring it up. Some of you may not have the mobility that you can actually open the fingers up, but it's okay. If you cannot, we can still do it. And you'll feel that great stretch going through the forearms. Again, our 20. So whether your fist is closed or the fingers are open. And I like to do a lot of things with mimicking the great side and the good side. So therefore, I'm sending those signals from my brain to my fingers to say, wait, this great side is moving like this. Let's get this good side moving like that also. So that's what I do right here is when I'm doing things is getting my brain to say, wait a minute, one side is doing it. Let's make it happen over here with the left side. Then we're going to go with trying to stretch the digits out one at a time. And what I mean by that is trying to lift one up at a time off the table. As you'll see, some of my fingers will go a little higher. I have a little more control of them than others. Some are easier. And then at the same time, as you just see, I tried to only lift the index and the thumb lifted up. So it's okay. It's not considered cheating to hold it down, to focus on stretching through that finger that you're trying to work on. Trying to keep these straight at the same time. You see that? <laughs> Again. Again. I want only the index finger. So here we go. I'm going to tell my the rest of my fingers to quit cheating. There we go. We're going to go 10 on each finger. Eventually, you'll get the control. See, even when you lift this one, the great side is not that easy. I still have these fingers, but, and I had no problem with this side. So it's not totally bad what the left side is doing. Now we're going to go for the middle finger. 
and again I mimic on the great side so I can see what it looks like over on the good side now, that's pretty decent now we're going for the ring finger now I do notice on the great side I don't get too much height with the ring finger over here so let's see what it's doing over here on the good side my ring fingers tends to give me a little jump on this side by trying to always lift the middle finger up so I'll give myself a little head start by lifting it up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to control it to after I lift it up when I remove my hand to keep it going so I got a little height and it didn't drop immediately so this is still good because I'm still teaching the muscles to have some control instead of just allowing it to drop I'm lifting it up and then I'm challenging my body to hold it up on its own that right there I just dropped it there we go. That's what I'm saying. So yes, my pinky is cheating a little bit on that one. But again, trying to control that ring finger. Now we're going to go to the pinky. Of course it's going to cheat because it was lifting up with the ring finger. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to do on its own. Now I'm holding all of them down come sideways so you can see not extreme height but great because it's doing something and again yes I am holding them down now I got it up I'm gonna try to let it go to see okay now we're doing something I let it go and it's still up there we working y'all we working get it up there get it up there working those muscles I let it go and we still up there this is what I'm saying. It's a process, y'all. Take it one step at a time. One step at a time. Let's see. Another exercise for us. I'll move one hand. Show you how it looks on the great side. Closing those fingers. Extending them open. Webbing the fingers. Closing and webbing. Close. Web. Close. Web. So can you see here, when I go to web it, I have to control the wrist at the same time because it tries to hyper extend. But I want control of the entire arm. So I'm going to focus on keeping that forearm in contact with the table. Web, close. Web, close. Turn it this way. Web, close, web, close, web, close. Again, we're going 10 of these also. Controlling that wrist. Not everybody's wrist may do this, but mine definitely tries to hyper extend, so I have to watch it. Close, red, close, web. Okay, I'm going to give you another exercise. Turn the hands over. See what I'm going to do with this thumb here? I'm going to try to connect it with the number as what it looks like a number four. Exercise, open it and closing it. It's over there, boom. I say boom because I get excited when I do these things. <laughs> Just as I'm showing you, I'm still working on perfecting it myself. So get excited with yourself with every little movement. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this one. <laughs> not completely lined up but i ain't mad because guess what the rest of the they're still straight so we're creating a four so again 10 of each of these 
closing it, open it, close it. And so you'll find certain things, certain ways you hold your hand and hold your arm. It may seem a little easier. It's actually harder for me to do it this way. When I do it this way, it's kind of relaxing everything else, telling everything else to move and get out of the way and just focusing on bringing it up and taking it back out and taking it back out. A lot more control this way. So we're going to go from four. We're going to see what a three looks like. And again, showing you these exercises. Some of you may be perfect at them and you may not be. I'm not completely. But I'm working myself and I will be perfect at it. So again, it does not, it's not cheating if you help yourself. Because again, that's allowing your brain to recognize this is what you're trying to do. I'm trying to create this. So that is taking the thumb to bring down the pinky. We're going to try this in this position first. My hands are doing something right now. And that's one thing. When your hands start to get tired, you really have to take a break. Because you, it's something that you may say, oh, I was doing it a second ago. But then when your digits and your hands get tired, you know how your muscles get tired. And then you pretty much say, okay, my muscles aren't working anymore. They're tired. So I'm going from a, I went from a four. I'm going for a three. I'm going to go for a two. Then I'm going to go for a one. So we'll see what my hand is going to do over here. But... Even if I do not do the whole thing, this is for you to do as your exercises. So if you don't finish it all in the same round, take a break, come back 10 minutes later and do it again. So we started off with the opening and close of the five. We went for the four, three, we're going two and we're going one. Okay, let's see. As I'm talking, I mean, so I'll give you, I can give you a partial one right now. So my thumb is not connecting with my pinky at the moment to bring it all the way down, but we are still working on that exercise. So we're going to go, that is my three. I'm holding it with this one. Yes, I am. If I don't hold it, I give you a partial. I can give you this one. Then we're going to go to a two. I was pretty excited uh, before I left uh, the therapy center in California is where I had my stroke. And before I left the therapy center, my goal for them was I kept telling them that I was going to give them a peace sign before I left and guarantee you, if I couldn't do nothing else, what I did give them all the therapists when I left was a peace sign. Let's see, hand a little tight, but I always usually can get a peace sign out of this. Boom, who said it had to be perfect, but I got that piece, I got that piece, I got that. <laughs> I got a lazy piece, but I got that peace sign right there. You see what I'm saying? I got that. Boom, I got that. Let's see what that one look like. They were laughing at me because... The first finger, first digit I was able to put up was the uh, <laughs> pointer finger. And that was the one I kept doing. And so they kept laughing at me, joking and saying, E.T. phone home because I kept doing this. And I was so focused trying to do this and then trying to do this. So this is what I would always do to focus on that finger. <laughs> I may get a little cross-eyed. But that was my focus to get that finger straight. And then another great one is to work on that thumbs up. I notice my thumbs up comes up very unnaturally. When you try to think about it too much, it's kind of like when it gives you all the problems. When you get that thumbs up, that's great. That's a straight finger. Then try to work on that fingertip as well. After you get that fingertip and the things moving like that with that thumb, then try playing thumb wars with somebody. And then you can do certain things that when you got it here, now we want to try to control it and bring it down here. Can you see that? It's sitting on top. Now I want to control it and bring it around. So just small things like that, guys. And then even with doing something as simple as clapping, because clapping is now using the entire hand, entire arm. That was something I could not do. So if you can do that, if you have some children or adults around, I'm an adult, and guess what? I'll play a hand game in a minute just to get things moving. The old school patty cake, therefore, it's making you use everything. Old school, I don't know who uh, grew up in the, back in the old days, not the old days, the 80s, where you could play, uh, what was that, slide, where you playing with somebody else, you slide, and you do that. 
things like that. I'm telling you, all those things work for you. You don't even think about these things. And they won't necessarily tell you to do this in therapy, but play a hand game with somebody. Patty cake, slide. If you don't know how to do it, you can Google or YouTube. I'm going I'm to do a slide with somebody. I'm going to show y'all some hand games that y'all can do. You could get the kids involved. You could get, make it an adult party. It ain't got to be kids. And just do things that, you, that are not so natural, but it will make you start moving and using your body without second guessing yourself and then having fun with it at the same time next time when i do some hand exercises i'm going to show you some props that i've been using that i've ordered to work with occupational for some hand things that i've been using one before i even go i have right here next to me i don't even know what the name of it is i have to figure out the name of it and show you the box but i can show you in this hand it's kind of like they tell you to do it for stress relief and things like that and as you see in this hand you can move and do all these things not the greatest over here with this hand, but I am going to perfect this. That's what I have this one as. So therefore on this left side, I'll be able to do something like this. So this is something that I will be keep. I just got this, but I will be keeping this every day. So I was playing with this for about two hours today. Um, but that's something definitely I'm going to have with me all the time. I put it in my pocket and work with it all the time. Because when you're unconsciously doing something, next thing you know, I'm telling you, I'm going to master this. And I'm going to have it wrapped around all my fingers on this left side. But I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you're trying to find me on another social media outlet, it's Instagram at Body Trace Fit. Again, like, subscribe, share. We are doing stroke rehabilitation exercises as well as fitness exercise. Previous to the stroke and what I still do now, I am a personal trainer and a health advocate. So I love doing things like this, helping people make it a lifestyle on the nutrition side, on the whole health side. So contact me via social media, uh, but look out for me. And again, share this so we can keep this going. Appreciate you. Have a good one.